Oh look, it's DIY week again. No. Hey y'all, it's Melody Reynolds. It is time for another DIY. And of course the dog's gonna start barking as soon as I start my DIY. <laughs> so please forgive that. This is real life, folks, and I have a lot going on here today. So if you hear noise in the background, hang with me. Give me some grace because we got an ice storm today, and our tree out front has had some damage, and my husband is trying to take care of that. So the dog's going to probably be barking. Hey guys, we're going to make another DIY. This is my DIY week. I do this annually. I'm actually going to start doing a few more DIYs on here because I make a lot of things, and I forget to show you guys how to make them. We are making all this week DIYs. Christmas gifts so that you're not going to be crazy when Christmas comes around trying to come up with gifts or trying to stretch your budget. I do not believe in overextending yourself or going into debt for Christmas. I have done that in the past. It is not wise to do. So I like to make things for people because number one, it's healthier. It's way more budget friendly and it's fun. Like I enjoy this. I'm passing this on to my daughter, teaching her how to do gifts and things like this too, because I think there's a lost art in the homemade, you know, handmade gift area. And I think it's special to be able to make something and give it to someone. So I'm Melody Reynolds. I am, uh, or I teach kingdom principles for how to live a more powerful, purposeful, abundant, victorious life. And I teach you things like how to take care of your health, using those kingdom principles, how to take care of your wealth, <laughs> how to take care of your, your mind, body, and spirit, basically. And I talk a lot about faith here on the page. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this. We're gonna make, you're gonna be able to clean somebody's toilet for them, and you won't even be there. Uh, we're gonna make <laughs> DIY toilet bombs with Thieves Essential Oil. And I will tell you why that is an amazing oil choice to use. And you might go, well, what do you mean you're going to, uh, what's a toilet bomb? You're going to be able to plop this in your toilet and it's going to fizz up and clean your toilet with yummy goodness that's going to smell like Christmas, okay? It's going to smell like Christmas in your toilet bowl and you're not going to have to scrub it down as often. I promise you, scrub it down real good and you can plop one of these in there. I do mine twice a week. If, you know, you've got heavy, more heavy trafficked area, you can do it however often you want to, okay? But this is kind of like a maintenance thing for me. And people really liked these when I gave them away last year. I mean, if you can come clean my toilet for me, yes, okay? Because I absolutely <laughs> hate that chore. I hate that and I hate cleaning the bathtub because it kills my back. Can I get an amen for anybody that feels me on that, okay? So, this is so simple. It is one, two, three ingredients. And I am, of course, a Young Living Essential Oils wellness advocate and distributor. So any of the oils that you see me using, you can always get those through me. However, make sure you don't buy from somebody that's not going to educate you and teach you about how to use these oils because there's no point in you getting them if you don't get all the benefits from them and learn all the ways to use them. So be wise about who you choose to be your crazy oil lady. Okay, because I'm a crazy oil lady and I make sure everybody gets educated and so does my amazing team. Right. This is super simple, you guys. So, three ingredients. Let's do it. You ready? Let's do it. Okay, and let's hope that we don't hear my husband. I told him, I said, wait 15 minutes because he's getting ready to start sawing up <laughs> part of our tree that fell. I was like, please don't turn that on while I'm trying to do this. So, if you hear it, I'll just yell. Okay. So this is a whole lot like our lavender bath bombs that we made earlier in the week, minus one ingredient, okay? So we're gonna start with good old baking soda. I mean, you have to have baking soda in your home. You can clean so many things with it and do so many things with it. So I'm gonna be putting in two cups of baking soda. You do always want to use um, a metal bowl or glass bowl when you're working with essential oils because if you use plastic, the essential oils are pure and they pull out the toxins from the plastic and you don't want that. Although, since this is a cleaning product, you don't really have to worry so much about that. 
So two cups of pure baking soda. Then we're gonna do two thirds cup citric acid. This is going to fizz up. This is what fizzed up with our bath bombs. This will fizz up in the toilet and help to get some of the grossness off of there. <laughs> no toilet pancakes, no. This is why, oh, I'm sorry, it's four ingredients. We're gonna add water to this and the citric acid will fizz up and if you add too much water, it will, these will not be bombs, they'll be flat. They'll just expand out and lay out wherever they are. We don't wanna do that, but I'll, I'll get there. So we're gonna do two thirds cup citric acid. I'm just gonna put that right in the bowl. Nothing fancy. And I'm gonna mix that together just to make sure it's just mixed, nothing major. I don't do stressful DIYs because I just am not that gifted to be able to do that. Okay, let me move this out of the way. And then, so this is the special ingredient here. This is our Thieves Essential Oil. Thieves, and we have a Thieves Vitality. So it's the same oil, it's just in two different bottles. Our Vitality oils are labeled to let you know that they are safe to ingest. So Thieves is really good to support your um, immune system and it is really good to um, cleanse the it's very cleansing to the digestive system and it's just good for overall wellness there is a story behind thieves too that's really cool so you can google that and figure out what that is but and i think i've told it before here on the page and the, the our regular thieves is just really great for like neutralizing and purifying the air we actually have a thieves cleaner which i swear by totally plant-based super concentrated this one bottle usually lasts me six to eight months so it comes down to like a dollar a bottle by the time you add water and it smells like christmas it's amazing so you can't go wrong with thieves for anything we have thieves toothpaste we have all kinds of good thieves stuff so if you've heard of young living you have probably heard of thieves oil thieves oil is not one that you can get at the grocery store remember last time i said don't get your oils at the grocery store or some random place online you need to go through a distributor and a company that you can trust because the oils at the grocery store have chemicals in them i promise you if you smell our lavender and compare it to one from the grocery store it's not going to smell the same our smells like a plant you know especially peppermint peppermint shouldn't smell sweet it should smell fresh and green so if you compare ours to a to one from the grocery store those are cheaper for a reason and that's because they put 5% oils in there and they can say it's 100% therapeutic grade, but it's not. It's just that they're not regulated by the FDA, so they can say whatever they want. So, <laughs> just keep that in mind. I always tell people, you know, yeah, they're cheaper. They're cheaper for a reason. Buy the good stuff. And you guys, like, you're. I'm only going to use, I'm going to make these a little bit potent because I like it to really smell good in the bathroom. So I'm gonna put 15 drops of thieves in there today and I'm gonna add another really amazing oil for cleaning and lots of good things actually. But another another good one that I'll show you. So I'm gonna put 15 drops and I'm just gonna drop it right in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. I love to take our Vitality Thieves and make a Thieves tea. So good this time of year. I don't do coffee, so I like to have something warm and spicy and I put a little honey with it, so good. So you got two options here. You actually have three options. Just the Thieves oil is gonna be great. It's gonna smell amazing. But I like to be extra. I said that in my last video. I like to be extra. So I'm gonna add another oil to it. You totally don't have to, but I love the smell of Thieves with a citrus. So I love it with orange, I love it with lemon. So I do have lemon here, but I also have one called Citrus Fresh. And by the way, all of the, the, the oils that I'm showing you come in our starter kits, along with, you can't see the diffuser, it's over here. With our um, diffuser as well, you could make like all kinds of stuff with this and you you can use this in a bajillion different ways. If you would like to learn more about how to do this kind of stuff and how to use those oils and why I'm so crazy about them, why I've been talking about them for five years, 
Why I believe that they're tied in to me, to my faith, and to the Bible, because they are, they're all over the Bible. Essential oils were very important to Jesus. He was given them at birth. He was given them on his way to the cross. He was offered them on the cross. Lots of people miss it because they don't know what to look for. I totally geek out on the Bible. I'm a Bible nerd. And so when I figured out the oils were in them, I was sold. So if you'd like to learn more about that, join our my wellness group that I run with four other faith-based moms who love the oils too. We go in, we do DIYs all the time, we do recipes, we do lessons on how to use everything. It's a wonderful group. If you're not already with Young Living and you don't have a crazy oil lady, because this kind of stuff goes on all the time in my group, I don't do it as much here on my page, okay? I got a lot of amazing women that do Young Living with me and we're like a big family. And we love each other and we geek out over our oils together and our Bibles together. <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to add probably five drops. One, two, three, whoop, four, five. I think I've got seven in there, but that's okay. So Citrus Fresh is actually a blend of several different citrus oils. And you know, like citrus just smells good. Especially when it's, oh, that smells really good. I think I'm going to add a couple more. I'm going to add a couple more. You could do five. I'm going to do like ten. Cause it just smells amazing and I don't know about you but like citrus in the winter time because listen we are frozen here today we had all kinds of ice last night it has snowed now twice it is really coming down outside and I don't want to cry so I've been smelling citrus oils all day <laughs> can I just tell you I've been smelling citrus oils all day because homegirl needs to, to hope that summer will come again very soon <laughs> and so I had needed to smell like summer in here uh, essential oils are actually really great for emotional support and citrus oils are inexpensive you can clean with them um, I put the lemon vitality in my thieves tea I put it in my water lots of amazing things so I that's all I've done and I'm gonna mix that in let me know what your weather is like today I know a lot of people are getting snow I'm kind of scared that it's gonna be a bad winter because I don't remember it being this cold. This is like February weather for us, okay? S ice and snow usually here January, February. Not, I'm kind of concerned. I really am. I'm gonna have to get more citrus oils. <laughs> okay, now, last ingredient is water. You want to spray this in a very little at a time because if you get too much, again, it will expand. We're going to put them into these little molds and make them like bombs, like the bath bombs we made. Got this on Amazon. So, this is right here. What we're going to use, it's just going to fit right in here. So, you want this to be pretty dry, but it needs just a tad bit of water. Um, and I didn't write down how much water it is because I'm just going to spray it in. But... I'm going to spray in a little bit, mix it up, and you want it to be like soap flakes. You want it to stick together, but not, you want to kind of have to force it to stick together, if that makes sense. I don't have, like, I don't cook, y'all, so I don't have, like, cooking terms. I have, like, melody terms. So, and I'll show you what happens. When you spray the water in, the citric acid starts to bubble up. See it? You can probably hear it you know bubble up I don't know I just make up terms and I'm just going to mix that around and you want it you want it to stick together but you kind of want to have to force it a little bit to stick together and that's what I was explaining the other night when I did the bath bombs they actually turned out I didn't leave any in here they turned out really well they held their shape I actually used one last night um, so if you missed those Make sure to go back because bath bombs are pretty much my favorite thing to make. And I'm just going to spray a little more water in. You can see it's kind of got some little clots in it. And if you look, let me see if I can show you. How can I best show you? So, see how that's like sort of sticking together? That's what you want. You want it to stick together well enough that it'll kind of clump up. But... Go on, err on the side of adding too little because you can always go back and add in more water. And if worse comes to worse and you add too much water, because then we'll put them in the molds and then we're going to set them on a plate and let them dry for 24 hours. 
if you put too much in there, it's just gonna expand and look like a pancake, <laughs> okay? And you know what I did last year when I did that? I crunched them up and I just took little pieces and threw them in the <laughs> toilet to clean it because it got the job done. It's like, who cares? <laughs> but since you're giving them away, you want to, because I did remake some and, <laughs> and kept the pancake ones for myself and gave the cute ones away. Because obviously you want them to be cute. You don't want to hand somebody a bunch of bits and pieces and say, throw these in your toilet. <laughs> All right, so I just put it in. I put the, I should have bent this a little further, but I don't think I can now. So I just put it in here, the mixture in here, and you can give it a little twist. Ta-da! Let's see if it stays. Oh, perfect! Homegirl did it perfectly! Yes, I did. <laughs> They're really pretty, actually. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see. I mean, if that don't look like professional, paid a whole bunch of money at the store, I don't know what does. But you know what? It didn't cost an arm and a leg. <laughs> this is healthy. There's no chemicals in here. You give this to your friends. I put these in. I like to put them in mason jars because they're glass and um, put a cute little bow and a cute little label on it and they can pull one out, plop it in their toilet a couple times a week and you're gonna save them having to go do that chore, chore every, as often as they have to. Usually I clean my toilet, I don't know, a few times a week and this, honestly, I can go a while by just putting this in there. Truly, I can go a while. So, and we have one bathroom and a tween and a, me and my husband. So, it's our only bathroom. It's, it's hard sometimes to have one bathroom, but we make do, and it's, and it's also easy to tell your kids, hey, go grab one of those, toss it in the toilet. That chore is done. And you don't have to worry about your kids getting stuff all over their hands. You don't have to worry about like have, feeling like you've got asthma and you can't breathe and your eyes burning because you've had to go in there and clean. Listen, if anybody wants to make these for me and give them to me for Christmas, I would love them. <laughs> so, I give away things that I know I would appreciate. So, I'm going to make a bunch of these. Now, the other night I told you that the bath bombs made 15. It made 7. So, I know that at least 7 of these will come out of here. Probably more because I have quite a bit of, of the mixture left. So, I may even get 10 out of here. But I'll make this a couple of times, and that way I've got plenty to give away. I usually give away like four or five a piece. Um, sometimes three when I have a lot of people to give to. So, anyway, I hope I'm going to make these. Y'all don't have to watch me make them, but that's how you do it. That's how it's done. So, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for honoring me with your time and hanging out with me for a few minutes tonight. I'm going to go make sure that after I'm done with this, that my husband is okay and he can saw up this giant limb that fell down today and hurt my feelings. Every time one of my trees gets hurt, it hurts my feelings because I love my plants, y'all. Love my trees. I'm a, you could call me a tree hugger if you want, but I love my, I got a tree out here, a catalpa tree. It's like hundreds of years old and I love it. It just has a personality. It's like there, it's always there for me. It brings me shade in the summer. You know, it gives character to my yard when all the leaves fall off. So, now I got to go out there and look at my oak tree. It made me sad. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging with me.